Hello and welcome to Mr. Clicks Flicks. This is Snuffleupagus bringing you Hero Clicks 101. What do I need to play the game? The first thing you're going to need when playing Hero Clicks is the actual Hero Clicks themselves. You can buy them in a variety of ways, which we'll get to later. Um, we have some examples in front of us here. We have a red She-Hulk and a Wolverine, which are examples of individual characters. We have a, an Iron Man and a War Machine. That is an example of a duo figure. We have another duo figure of Absorbing Man and Titania. Uh, and then we also have, and it doesn't have the characters actually placed onto it right now, but a team base. Uh, these are just uh, some examples of the type of figures that you can play with. Uh, there are also giant figures and other things like that, but that gets uh, a little more complicated. Uh, right now, you just want to focus on getting individual hero clicks themselves, the individual figure. Each figure is going to come with a figure that is on a dial. Uh, each dial is going to be unique, and then you're also going to have a card that comes with it. If you do not have the card, what you can do is go online to heroclicks.com and print out the card. Um, you can get it laminated, you can just use a, a piece of paper that you cut out. Um, but it's important that when you play, you have both the card and the figure. The second thing you need when you're playing Hero Clicks is 2d6. For those of us who are not familiar with dice game, I know I wasn't when I started playing, uh, a d6 is just a six-sided die, one that you would normally get in any sort of a board game. Um, in front of us, we have two different examples. Uh, you can get miniature d6, you can have extra large d6. As long as you have two d6, uh, you'll be okay. You almost never will need more than that. Um, there are a couple situations in which you might, but I really wouldn't worry about those. Number two is 2d6 to roll. The third thing we need are action tokens. When you play Hero Clicks, you have to keep track of how many actions you take, and to do that, you can get a little bit creative. Some of the examples we have in front of us right now are the beads or rocks from a fish tank. They're, they're very easy to use, very small, uh, and they work very, very well uh, on a map. Uh, there's the examples of the actual tokens. You can see the round tokens. Uh, those came in the Avengers vs. X-Men Avengers starter pack. Those are custom action tokens, and you have two choices with those. You can either place one down and then a second to show two actions, or you can put one down and then flip it to denote two separate actions. With the action tokens, uh, some people will have different colored ones, they'll have different themed ones, uh, or like I mentioned, you can just flip it over. Uh, it's good to tell the person you're playing what you are using so that they can keep track of your actions as well. Uh, another example is a D6. We just discussed what a six-sided dice is. Some people use the miniature ones, some people use the larger ones. They're usually different colored or different sized from the ones you are rolling for attack. Uh, some people will even use Skittles. I've seen people use different types of candies. I've seen people use quarters or dimes. Uh, you really don't have much of a limit as to what you want to use to denote what your, your actions are. Many people, when they start playing Hero Clicks, are coming in with nothing. Uh, obviously, we talked about figures, D6, action tokens. One of the things that I almost guarantee that you won't have is a map. The best way to get a map, and they come in different varieties, they come 4x4, 8x8, uh, you can get any number of maps, they're all going to be different, they're almost all going to be two-sided, and we'll get in another video to different uh, characteristics of maps, such as indoor versus outdoor, some of the rules that uh, apply to maps. Right now, you just need, as a new player, to get maps. You have a couple options. The first thing that I would recommend doing is going to your local venue. When you go to your local venue, you're going to usually go to a comic book store. Uh, here, the, the best ones to go to are normally New Dimension Comics. There's a few of them. Uh, I normally play at New Dimension Comics in Cranberry. They're very, very friendly. They have boxes of maps. They will hand you pretty much whatever you want as far as maps are concerned. If you play in tournaments, you usually get to take a map home with you. Uh, another option besides a venue is you probably have a friend or two who are playing if you're interested in the game. If that is the case, I guarantee, as long as they're not new like you, that they're going to have probably drawers and drawers full of maps. 
just, just asking for a few. It's easier to learn on a smaller map at first uh, and then work your way up. The powers and abilities card is something that you, you pretty much have to have. It's not a requirement as you play. Most people who have played for a while do not keep it on them. And in fact, a lot of new players don't keep it on them. I suggest the powers and abilities card because it's a quick reference point for you. There are so many powers and abilities. On the first page alone, speed has flurry, leap climb, phasing teleport, earthbound neutralized, charge, mind control, plasticity, force blast, sidestep, hypersonic speed. Uh, when they come out with new sets, there are also new abilities that tend to come out with them as well. So sometimes it's a little hard to keep up. If you have an updated powers and abilities card, which you can print from heroclicks.com, you might be able to find it from hcrealms.com. You can keep up with the, the different powers and abilities for speed, attack, defense, damage. Uh, the handful of times I've played, I'm, I'm very new myself. Uh, what has happened is uh, I've used this as a reference point and it's helped me with exactly what you can use together. It tells you what you can't use with each other. And a lot of the times the referees will even look at it to see specific wording and relate it to the card so that they can make a proper ruling. Um, a lot of veteran players uh, won't look at you any different. They'll even encourage you to keep it. Uh, because it's really going to help you to learn. And that's really the goal right now. You're a new player, you want to learn. This powers and abilities card is the number one thing you can do. It even has a little cheat sheet for action types, objects, traits and abilities. Uh, it'll tell you on the map what color denotes what. So if you're not sure what hindering terrain is, it's going to tell you. If you're not sure what an indoor area is, it's going to tell you. It even tells you little things like improved targeting. Uh, it tells you about improved movement. It tells you about giant rules and great size. Uh, it talks to you about duo attacks. And then it goes through and shows you what the symbols on a dial are. And it even tells you what those do as well. So this is kind of your be-all, end-all cheat sheet that I really think every new player should keep and use, especially if they're in a tournament or especially if they're playing uh, a friend or at a local venue. The last thing you will need when you are starting to play Hero Clicks is a rule book. Now these booklets can come in, in different forms. You can find them in different places. Again, like the maps, your local venue may have one. Uh, you can find them on HeroClicks.com. You might be able to find rules interpretations uh, on different forums and other things like that. I suggest purchasing a starter pack. The newer the starter pack, the newer the rules booklet. And what you will normally get is what we have here in front of us. This is the 2013 rule booklet. It's not exactly the newest rules interpretations. You can find those on HeroClicks.com. However, 99% of what is in this booklet is accurate. The reason it's important to have a rules booklet is because unless you're playing in an organized setting or unless you have a very veteran player teaching you, it's hard to answer some questions. It's hard to see how certain powers are used on each other in combination. It's hard to see how different game effects stack and which takes effect first and how they're played. Uh, sometimes it can be hard, especially on on maps that have different types of terrain to figure out the line of fire to know whether you can see people to hit or use probability control or use other powers. You should probably make sure you have one, especially when you start out. Even the most veteran of players do make mistakes. That's why unless you have a rules official there, it's best to, to look to the booklet and, and try and figure these things out. And don't be afraid to go on to forums and ask questions, pose scenarios, try and get a hold of an official and, and see if they know at your local venue. Uh, talk to as many people as possible and, and use the rule booklet wisely. I've mentioned a couple times the Avengers vs. X-Men starter pack. Now, I purchased only the Avengers side of that pack. There are two of them. One is the Avengers and one is the X-Men. In this, you will get six figures. You will also get two D6. You will get action tokens. You will get a powers and abilities card. And you're also going to end up with a rule book. So this gives you absolutely everything that you need, including a map. 
what you want to do is go to your local comic book shop, your local retailer of Heroclix, and since Avengers vs. X-Men is pretty new, you'll probably be able to find it. I believe they were priced at 30 or $35, and they might even be uh, down now, uh, especially since it's the end of Avengers vs. X-Men. What you'll do is you'll go in, you'll purchase one, and you'll purchase both, whichever you prefer. The good news is, is the players in here have multiple point totals. You can start at different parts of the dial. So they're going to fit your needs for a lot. So what you'll end up doing is purchasing one of these, and you'll see from the Avengers, for example, uh, a character like Scarlet Witch, fantastic support piece. You'll see a character like Thor, very, very good piece at 100 points has a lot of different uh, ability, has a lot of damage power. On the other side of the coin, you'll have Cyclops, which is a, a solid piece to attack from range with. Or you'll get an Emma Frost, who's a really good tie-up piece. Or you'll end up getting Magic, who can TK, which is telekinesis. You can move people around uh, the field. Since this is new, most of you won't know what I'm talking about, but you will get your money's worth from these packs. It's definitely my suggestion. If you are new, you have nothing to work with, you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go. If you're committed to playing, or you're committed to trying to play, I definitely recommend one or both of these packs uh, to, to get you started. Thank you for watching this episode of Hero Clicks 101 brought to you by Mr. Clicks Flicks. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe as Mr. Clicks Flicks is working hard every day to make this the number one Hero Clicks channel on YouTube. And remember, it's only a critical miss if you don't have probability control.